bright duty every student matters so with that we come to the end of this section and here again we have a question for us the question asks write any two problems of pipeline transportation the first problem is the cost of laying down pipelines are very high and it has danger of leakage or leakages these are the two problems of pipeline transportation let's look at them the first one asks which of the following modes of transport is fuel efficient and environmental friendly is it roadways railways pipelines or waterways it is waterways the second question which of the following was the first port to be developed soon after independence is it bombay or calcutta paradeep or kandla the correct answer is kandla the next question is name the types of inland waterways so we can name some of the types of inland waterways which is river rivers canals lakes sea etc okay the next question give two advantages of waterways so the first advantage is waterways is the cheapest means of transport and the second advantage is it is fuel efficient and environmentally friendly all right which of the following modes of transport would you find in higher areas of mountainous regions like the himalayas is it railways roadways inland waterways airways it is airways which of the following airlines is the national carrier of india air india jet airways spice jet air asia the correct answer is air india the next question write two advantages of airways the two advantages of airways are it is the fastest means of transport and it aids great provides a uh, aid or acts as a crucial mode of transport during natural or man made disasters okay let's look at that the first one is name any four means of communication so there are they are telecom networks periodicals and newspapers postal networks 1 2 3 and 4 films all right the next question how do means of mass communication play a vital role in creating awareness among the people through 
मास कम्युनिकेशन और थ्रू मीन्स ऑफ मास कम्युनिकेशन पीपल रिसीव इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट various aspects of life as a result of this they become aware of political social economic and cultural situation of any region all right the next question what is mass communication what are the different means of mass communication the means of communication which communicate ideas policies and national issues directly to the mass is called mass communication different means of mass communication are films radio television newspapers magazines books etc so with this we have come to the end of this uh, chapter so this chapter was all about transportation and communication system in a country so we looked at what transportation means and we looked also at various means of transportation which were waterways airways uh, pipelines roadways railways etc right we looked at both its advantages and we also looked at problems that each means of transportation faces and then we came to look at mass communication how it helps in making the people aware how it helps uh, and then we looked at looking at communication and then in that communication also we understood how it is divided into two types one is personal communication and the other is mass communication and how both this communication are very important in sharing the information receiving the information and distributing the information okay so with that i end this um chapter here with the hope that you had a nice time learning about it with me and i hope to see you again in the next class learning about another topic interesting topic until then see you bye